On February 20, I arrived in Arizona and met up with some friends to dig for crystals. Quartz is the crystal we were digging for, and it's a pretty magical crystal. It has been used in healing rituals throughout history. It's considered one of the seven precious substances in Buddhism. It was set in the breastplate of the Hebrew high priest in the Bible. And in India, quartz is named as the gem that removes fear. The quartz crystals that we're looking for form in this stone called limestone. So typically when you find limestone and this kind of reddish colored dirt, you find quartz crystals. See it bubble? It starts now. My hands are getting so dirty and so cold. Victoria often said that the crystals were guiding her to them. And at first I thought this was silly. But after learning more about quartz, I wondered if they did have a bit of transcendent magic to them. So I went to take a shit this morning. I brought my big shovel. And I had to walk out pretty far. So then I realized there was all these holes that had been dug up. So I just decided to look through them. And I found like 20 crystals. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. Yeah. Some What's of these that? have ancient water locked inside. Millions of years old water. Quartz is not the only thing we found in the dirt though. We regularly came across grubs, worms, and spiders. Victoria even shoveled into a tarantula in his burrow. And occasionally we'd find little Luca cuddled up in our dig hole. These are the crystals I got after my first day. Um, none of them are super clear. But I did find this one. This is probably my best one. Nights quickly became a show and tell of sorts. We would all bring our findings for the day and show everyone the beautiful crystals we had uncovered. Outfit. I don't know how to get oh, it. Oh, damn. Yeah, be careful. You, just use your hands. <gasps> oh. oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, you can clean it. Good boy. I guess. You won't eat it. I've never done this before. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. He found his first crystal. Where did you find it? <laughs> I need to go for a poo. <laughs> On February 22nd, it started raining, and it would rain for the next two days. This meant we would have to stay undercover in our vans, which we weren't really happy about. But what came after made it totally worth it. It is cold and rainy. <sighs> But the cool thing about the rain is it is going to wash up all the crystals, or at least this is what I'm told by expert rock hounder Victoria Glavis. We are being chauffeured to dig crystals. We are going to find them just gleaming at us, asking asking us to pick them up. They'll be on top of piles, on top of the ground. Because it's been raining. Because the crystals have such flat bases, it's like glass, okay. dirt just... Oh. We're going? It's gonna be bumpy. Go I got it. it, I got an arm on it. Sue! We're meeting Sue. Sue, 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 Sue. You're meeting Sue, I'm gonna hug Sue. Sue, Sue, Sue! Sue, Sue. Sue. <laughs> Is it? In that one? This thing here?
What are we doing, Victoria? Wow. We're getting back into this stuff over here. And it's just like throwing all sorts of cool stuff. Like, look at that. I found one that kind of looked like this earlier. Hmm. Not quite this big, though. You got a big crystal there, and there might be other parts to it around nearby. Yeah. Here's a stick if you can get that close. But there you go, go under it. Yeah, go, go under, under it. it. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, Girl, what did you find? Girl. Wow. <laughs> Look at that crystal. Dude. Oh, this is amazing. Uh, yeah. Oh it was on the back somewhere? Yeah. Gosh. Are we seeing the bottom? Yeah, we were seeing this. Okay, that's right. Yeah, and she flipped it around. It was like. <gasps> oh. That makes the discovery so much more special yeah. and fun. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> that, those all came from right there. All of these, dude. Look at that. What the fuck? We were tripping on this one when the whole time it's like, oh, this is. Yeah. I know, that's what's so exciting. Careful. Oh, double terminate. Oh, but oh digging for crystals can get kind of discouraging, especially if you're around professional crystal digger Victoria Glavis and you're comparing your findings to her apple-sized ones. I kept having to remind myself that comparison is the thief of joy and I was there for the experience, not the results. And the experience was unforgettable. Maybe it was the crystal energy emanating from the buried quartz below, or maybe it was just being surrounded by so many wonderful like-minded people. But as the digging season ended, I couldn't help but feel grateful. Not because of my jar of beautiful quartz, but because of the unforgettable memories of digging in the forest with some of the best people on earth.